One method that some people use to extract their honey is to crush and strain their honey. They just cut the comb right out of the frame and put it in some kind of vessel like a screen and then crush and strain it. So why do you extract instead of crush and strain? So uh, uncapping the honey and uh, leaving the comb intact makes it uh, more efficient for the bees to refill the frame. So when I uncap it, I've, I've damaged and distorted some of the cell, but you just the top part of it by uncapping it. Bees can easily repair that and then refill the comb without a lot of work. If I were to scrape it all the way down to the foundation, then the bees have to rebuild it. And that'll, that'll take more time, which could be a valuable loss of time. If there's a nectar flow on, let's say I'm out of supers. And I wanted, and I, but I need, to, I can collect more honey. I'm going to quickly extract uh, some supers and then put them back on the bees before the nectar flows over. And so if I crushed and I strained it by, by scraping all of the comb off of the foundation, that would make a lot of work for the bees to rebuild that uh, before they could fill up the cells with honey again. So uncapping, just taking the cap off the cell rather than the whole cell, then uh, the bees can repair that quickly and refill it. When is um, crush and strain maybe a better option for people that are starting out? Uh, if you don't have an extractor or if you can't borrow one, incidentally, if you're nearby the honey company, we'll lend you our extractor if you need it. So if you don't have a centrifuge or an extractor, then a crush and strain may be your only option. 